<clears throat> All right. Hello, world. Take the opportunity. I want to welcome you to join our global press conference this time. And in my back, you can see a lot of faces. These are people coming from all the office around the world. They are Acer people. But I'm sure they are more than just Acer people watching our press conference today. 2020 is a year of change, starting from pandemic and many other things happening. That force us, we will have to do a different lifestyle, including we'll have to, many people will have to stay home and stay connected, work from home. And that's one of the areas that we've been thinking hard how do we make it easier for people to stay connected and still effective. And today, we'll be, we will be introducing some of the technology that we've been working for some time to help you to cope with the new evolving lifestyle, including the antimicrobial technology that we've been working on. And because things are all different, our event today will be different too. And we will try to stay as interactive as possible, as engaging as possible, and in, as insightful as possible, like every time, to provide you some of the leading edge technology and some of the insights of the industry. For that, I would like to invite my stage speech partner to join me. Clark, this, how are you doing? Good to see you again, Jason. All right, let's do this. So today, to start with, we actually have a small game too. That's right. For the past 20 kick off. Uh, yeah, we do. For the past 24 hours, we've allowed people to vote on the order that they want to see our products in. And that's uh, between rock, paper, and scissors. Well, it's an old game, right? That's right. But we are going to use it in a new way. Uh, we are. And we actually have a video to show everyone exactly what we mean. We plan to use people's voting to decide the sequence, how we're going to present our new technology, our product today. And unfortunately, we only have one minute left, so we're just going to go one ahead. One more minute. And so we're counting down now. And obviously, our solid uh, category represents, our rock category represents our solid products. The very tough, very durable. That sounds interesting. And we also have paper. If you can take a guess, what do you think paper might be? Uh, thin and light. That's right. Paper is our thin, and, <laughs> our thin and light device. It's a good guess. And lastly is scissors, where naturally you're going to be more creative with scissors. So Designers. Obvi yeah, obviously that's for our designer category, which is generally our concept D. And uh, we only have 30 seconds left. So if you do see the link in your screen, please go click it. Click it. You can go ahead and vote. Uh, and as you can see behind us, the votes are continuing to climb with 
Obviously, paper's People still in the team. lead, but we will see exactly what happens soon. We only have 12 seconds left. I, myself, I think I would choose rock. What about you, Jason? Myself? Yeah. Gaming. Gaming, okay. <laughs> it's, it's not one of the choices, but it is there, so stay tuned. Uh, with just three seconds left, and that's it. Voting is up. So if we take a look at the numbers, looks like paper. Paper. Let's go for it. Let's go. Today, we'll start with paper session. And paper stands for? Our thin and light devices. And during this pandemic period of time, a lot of people have to work from home, have to learn from home. And for that, we have a very good solution in order to improve people's working efficiency. Starting with Chromebook. We are actually the number one Chromebook supplier in the world. And for good reason, Jason. Uh, what we have here today is actually the Chromebook Enterprise Spin 713. So on top of everything we have already done, we are going to come up with a new device. It's this baby. That's right. And what we've done uh, is quite special with our Chromebooks. We wanted to give people a little bit of added, extra added protection. And the way that we did that is by adding an antimicrobial solution to the Chromebook screen. Oh, so the touch screen for people, many people touch it. It's actually well protected. Yeah, that's exactly right. Because you want people are going to be moving these around a lot and touching them. And with enterprise especially, they're going to be used mainly at workplaces uh, to help improve efficiency. Uh, and they may be taken back home. Uh, people will utilize cloud computing. But ultimately, because we want to protect that screen, uh, with antimicrobial, how it works is we use a material that's embedded with silver ions. Uh, that limits the amount of bacteria that can grow on the screen, and because of that, will limit the amount of germs that might uh, pass from one person to another. That sounds wonderful, and it's a uh, very thing and light and beautiful design as well. And because it's a spin, you can actually utilize many modes. So if you do want to use it like a laptop, spin it around for, for touching or for drawing, or just use it to share information, you can do all those things with the Spin 713. It looks beautiful, and you want to talk about the display, please. Uh, yeah, the ratio course. of the display. Obviously, the display, you might notice uh, that it looks a little bit different. And this is because it's using our VertiView display. This is a 3 by 2 display, which is actually uh, more, uh, more narrow, more vertical. So that, like, if you want to utilize it for more uh, paper reading or uh, viewing PowerPoints, etc., you can do all those things and get more text on your screen. Uh, right. Nowadays, that's more and more needed. And for that, we're actually having to look at how the product in details. On top of the Chromebook, which is top of the line, a beautiful machine, we would like to talk more about Thing and Lie. And talking about Thing and Lie, we will have to talk about our Swift product line. And today we have something new as well. We do, Jason. And this here, of course, this is our Swift 5. It's been a very successful ultra thin laptop for us. And just like the Chromebook, we wanted to take it up a level. So, Another level up. That's right. We, and we, it was necessary for the, for the environment that we are living in today. Uh, what we've done is just like the Chromebook, it utilizes an antimicrobial technology on the glass. But we've also added that to the entire form factor. So the four covers, it's all well designed, well protected, the whole thing. The whole product, all the form factor is already protected. 
You're right. The, the back cover, the front, and the base, and the bottom of the laptop all utilize that same silver ion technology, the materials embedded with silver ions, uh, to help protect people in the workplace for the environment that we are working in these days. Stay healthy. Very, very important. At, at all times, yeah, definitely. Uh, and that pretty much rounds up our paper products for this time, Jason. So if we take a look at the numbers... Uh, What's the next section? Looks like the second highest is scissors. Scissors. Let's go for it. Let's go. Caesar, it's our designer session. Ever since Concept D was launched, it's well accepted around the world. People like our product a lot. We're actually getting lots of awards around the world. And today, we have something new to show today. That's right, Jason. The easel hinge has been very successful for us, which is why we decided to add it to one of our latest products. This is the Concept D3 easel. So we actually implement the easel, the easel That's into right. Concept D3 as well. And it's incredibly versatile. Obviously, if you want to utilize this for drawing, you can do that. Uh, and if you want to utilize it as a laptop or some of the other modes, you can do that as well. But what stands out as the most unique feature for this, obviously, is the screen. And you need a professional... Now we continue to focus and emphasize on the color accuracy. That's right. This has color accuracy Delta E less than 2, as well as it's being Pantone validated. Now, for the designers out there, you're, those should stand out. And if you're not a designer and you're just kind of interested, just go to a shop, look at the difference, and you'll see why these features are very important for this kind of laptop. Well, you know what? Uh, enough for us. Let's see how other people talk about it. I would like that. We've actually uh, given it to uh, illustrator and YouTuber Piper to see uh, Piper. just what she thought. Hi everyone, I am Piper from Piper's Art on YouTube. I am an animator and an illustrator and I also make videos on YouTube about my art. So normally on my YouTube I have videos where I talk about my process creating artworks and I also have videos where people can draw along with me. I love sharing and talking about my process as an artist and hopefully I can inspire others to create as well. So today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the new Acer Concept D easel and creating a little illustration on it as well. Immediately when I saw the Concept D3 easel, the design intrigued me. It seems to be an amazing hybrid of a laptop and a graphic display tablet. As an artist, I was super excited to get my hands on it and try creating something with it. The hinge was very sturdy, it really assists the workflow, it doesn't move around when you work with it, and it stays in place at whichever angle you prefer. The pen itself is also very light and tiny, which is great as it doesn't weigh down on your hand when you use it. I mainly use Adobe Suite programs for both creating art and editing my YouTube videos. I use programs such as Photoshop, Premiere, After Effects. I also use a lot of animation softwares for the animation work that I do. I use Anime CC and TV Paint for this. So off the bat, I really enjoy the design of the Concept D3 easel. I think it's going to revolutionize the way that artists can use a laptop to create art. The connection of the pen onto the screen was a big plus for me as well. It glides beautifully on the tablet screen and the screen itself is very smooth, but has just enough grip that it doesn't become slippery when you draw on it. In terms of calibration and sensitivity of the pen, the Concept D3 easel also excelled in this. The artwork I personally create has a lot of play on opacity and pen pressures, and I think that the Concept D3 easel is really good at picking up on all the different kinds of pressures when you're drawing on it. As you can see, throughout the drawing and especially the shading section, the pen sensitivity and accuracy on the tablet allowed me to create this clean and fully rendered illustration. Overall, I'm really happy with this device. I think it's going to be amazing for any artists out there who are working in the art industry. It functions beautifully both as a work laptop as well as a tablet where you can immediately switch to create artwork wherever you are. If you're a creator on the fence about whether to get a nice laptop or a graphic display tablet for creating, the Acer Concept D3 easel has both. This is a device that can satisfy all your work needs. I highly recommend it for any designers, illustrators, or just any creators out there in general. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye. Bye. We appreciate Piper's positive comment about our product, but it's not just 
our concept is three. We actually have four product line. We do. We can check it out right over here. And there's another cool feature with the concept D3. It actually has up to an 18-hour battery life as oh, well. Oh, that works. Or oh, people have to work a long hour. I understand some of the designers, they work long hours. And we have the device. We'll be able to cover with that. That would be exactly do. Let's go take a look. Let's at the take a look. Lineup. The full part line. They are all demonstrated here. This is our enhanced Concept E 2020 lineup. And we have really something for everyone, Jason, from laptops, desktops, and displays. And a professional all, display. Exactly. All fully functional with Windows 10. They are beautiful devices. Whether you're an illustrator, an engineer, you need something powerful or something that's very color accurate, there's bound to be something for everyone. I'm so excited about that. The concept is becoming the icon for the industry. We're so happy about that. And that pretty much rounds up our uh, scissors line of products for today. Uh, let's take a look at the numbers. And obviously, there's only one category left. We can go to rock. Rock. Let's check it out. We understand there are people need to work in the external environment. In some cases, even extreme conditions. For that, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to introduce you a new product line, a new brand, Enduro. Enduro is built for harsh environment. Clark, can you bring in one of the models? Let's look at sure, how Jason, tough that is. This is the N7. Obviously, it has a very con convenient carrying handle as well. Well, it comes with a handle. Well, it's extremely comfortable because this is a durable device. You want to be using it for long periods of time. But beyond that, it is extremely tough. It is military-grade certified and also is... IP65 compliant. Explain to people I, IP65. Sure. Essentially, that means it is dust proof and extremely water resistant. So like you said, if you are in those harsh conditions, unpredictable environments, you're going to want a machine that can withstand all of that. In addition to that, you also have a hot swappable battery in case you have to work longer hours than hot expected. Swap. Ha, ha, swappable. Yeah, most bank. batteries, it, are you, basically, you have no choice. You have to either get a power, uh, power bank and use that but not with In the, the middle N7. of the work, that's frustrating. Extremely frustrating. And you have something else hanging off the side as well. It's not comfortable and not convenient. So it's military grade protection that people can use for everyday challenge. That's right. It is a perfect laptop designed to withstand all the wears and tears of everyday life. And, and we more. also have something else that we'd like to show to people. We do. Let me go grab that, Jason. This is... The Enduro N3. It's That's also what I'm talking about that people will be able to use it daily because it's also military grade, but relatively thin and light. And it's extremely tough. And that's why we decided to give it uh, to an astrophotographer to see just what he could do with one of these. Let's take a look. Take a look. Acer recently reached out to me to test their new Enduro N3 laptop, a laptop computer that was designed to handle unpredictable outdoor conditions. I've been using laptop computers for astrophotography to control my imaging sessions for the last 10 years, and there's something that all of the laptops I had until this one had in common, and that was they weren't meant to be used outside.
For a successful night of deep sky astrophotography, you need everything to go right. We spend so much time and energy and hours and hours of collecting these amazing images of deep sky objects in space that are thousands of light years away. To lose your data from something as silly as your laptop getting too cold or getting moisture on it or dropping it would be a huge shame. Investing in a laptop that was actually designed for outdoor professionals, probably a smart move. There's several features of the Enduro N3 that I feel are a great fit for amateur astrophotographers. Some of the places that we do astrophotography are in the desert, so they're under extreme heat and sun during the day, and then the temperature gets really cold at night. Here in Canada, we get all four seasons. We get everything from the icy cold snow to these hot, humid summer nights. It really is a demanding environment for a laptop computer to be outside. Another one that really applies to astrophotographers is the water resistant. It has the Aquafan technology that repels water. So what happens to our astrophotography year without fail? through a night of imaging is that it gets covered in moisture throughout the night. The telescopes and our cameras, they're kind of meant to be outside, but your computer certainly isn't. So having a laptop that's able to get wet and still function properly is really important for astrophotographers. It's impact resistant. This hobby is done in the dark. It wouldn't take much to knock something over and believe me, it's happened. God forbid you knock over your laptop computer and it smashes and corrupts your data. You worked so hard to collect. Wow, that was beautiful scenery. Canada, I've been there. Oh, I'm actually from near there. I'm from Michigan, which is right next to Canada, and we've been there tons of times. It's very cold and a very tough environment. Can't be, it can't be like that. So for this kind of product, you know, people use it in many cases, one hand, and in many cases, accidentally, they actually oh. drop. Oh, but fortunately, this is military-grade certified, so as you can see, everything is okay. I mean, in addition to the being military-grade certified, it's also IP53 resistant, which makes it fairly dust-proof as well as extremely water-resistant, similar to the N7. And as an added feature, well, I could actually show you more of how tough this is, but we actually passed this off to two individuals to show us how tough the Enduro N3 really A is. A fun stress test. Welcome to Acer's A Corner, where the magic of creation happens. I am John. And I'm Brandon. Safety first, kids. Today at the Acer Testing Lab, we're going to run through three tests. Test number one, a drop test. Following that, we're going to mimic inclement weather for tests two to three, heavy rainfall, and cold tests. Can it survive? Let's get started. First test today, the drop test. Green is good. Trackpad is good. Drop one. <laughs> What? Your laptop, I'm gonna Get destroy it! Ah! Right. I'm a believer! Our screen There's is no still working. Keyboard is totally backlit and functional. All right, let's move on to our second test. Test number two, water resistance. Ooh. We're gonna shower this Enduro and chuck it in there, see if it'll survive. But best part about this, we're chucking the Enduro N3 in there with you. Let there be water! I am glad I'm not in there, I'll be honest. I'm a little skeptical. All 
right. Trackpad working. Screen working. It's dry. Are you ready to move on? On to the next one. On to the next one, baby. Over here is a glass box with dry ice. First thing, let's take a temp. We have negative 30.8 degrees Celsius. Let's add that guy in. Our team is going to be monitoring the dry ice and make sure the internal temp stays around the same. Let's see if it's alive. Nice. <laughs> you can hear the crackling. Oh, track it's frozen solid. Our keypad is lit up. Our trackpad worked. Clicking functions are working. Get your cold frozen pizzas. All right, my man. Oh. Guys, thank you for staying with us for all these tests today. And as you can see, Acer's Enduro N3 is a tough computer. Well done, Acer's Enduro N3. We are out of here. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> I think we should uh, <laughs> kick it up a notch. Step it up a notch. Step it up a notch. Two, one. Oh. I think it's fine. I think uh, this thing is a beast. Peace. Peace mode. Enduro N3. It's actually one of the lightest at two kilograms, 14 inch in the whole rugged line. We are actually having not just N7, N3, but full product line. That's right. We have, in addition to the uh, obviously these beautiful rugged laptops, we have tablets and we have more on the way. So keep your eyes out for what's to come. Uh, are we ready to go? Of course, we are working with CDW based in the States who will be distributing all of our Enduro machines. And many other partners around the world, we're ready to go. And with that them? concluded our Rocky Dice session. The next will be gaming. Let's do it. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Predator. Talking about gaming, we will have to talk about Predator. And we want to talk about the evergreen skill on Amazon. Top 10 Amazon skill, only one gaming. That's Helio 300. Yeah, I'll go get that right away, Jason. The beautiful Helios 300. Some may have seen it before, but they haven't seen it like this. This particular Helios 300 matters a lot because Unlike the others, this has a 240 hertz screen with a three millisecond response time. That sounds great. So if you want buttery smooth graphics with almost tear-free gaming, this is gonna be the perfect laptop for you. Naturally, you've got all the latest specs from Intel as well as Nvidia, uh, now up to a 2070 Max-Q. You and, of course, our fourth gen Aeroblade 3D cooling. That will be one of our major focus is our thermal technology. So if you're looking for a new laptop to take you into the world of AAA gaming or fast refresh FPS joy, the Helios 300 is the perfect laptop. And to relatively that. thin and light as well. It is that. But the next one we're going to show you is not. Let's look at the 700. The Helios 700 is right over here. And it is quite the beast, Jason. Now oh. we want to look at the beast. Obviously, this is a much thicker laptop, and that's for a good reason. The unique thing on the Helio 700 is the keyboard. That, that's a famous one. I know about this sliding. This is the Hyperdrift keyboard, and it's quite special because, one, obviously, you get this beautiful wrist rest, which is unique, really, to this laptop. And the most important second thing is that it gives you direct access to the cooling. This allows you to pull in more air for extreme overclocking to push your processor, push your GPU, and push your frame rates much higher. But uh, one, more, one more thing this time, it's a keystroke. That's right. WSAD on this keyboard are quite special because how they work is similar to an analog joystick. This means that in most games with an analog gamepad, you're able to move from 0 to 100 incrementally. However, with most keyboards, you're either on or off. You're either walking or running. There is no in-between speed. But with our MagForce keys, you're able to do just that. And this time, we actually use optical technology to achieve that. That's right. An optical laser will keep track of how far down you're pressing 
uh, just to make sure that you have as much accuracy as possible. And while these are useful, we want to also give the gamers out there who like racing games a chance to try this as well, which is why we included our racing keys. These are similar to the MagForce keys, except these have a convex shape, which is more comfortable for long-term use, as well as a bit more travel distance. The travel distance will give people the real feeling, a, a wonderful sense on how and what they are doing. It's true. With most racing games, obviously, you're turning the wheels for longer periods of time. And just like the keys, we wanted to give a bit more key press on the downward motion so that it gives you at least the impression of driving, a, a, driving with a wheel. And for that, we want to see what Team Envy has to say. I'm Jane, gamer, coach, and streamer for both Team Envy and the Dallas Fuel. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I actually used to play on a gaming laptop myself. This laptop, the Helio 700, is a dramatic improvement over any gaming laptop that I've ever used. There's usually quite a few trade-offs that you have to make in order to actually get that portability. And a lot of those big compromises that used to be deal breakers are no longer the case with the Helio 700. For a long time, gaming laptops have been stuck to 60 hertz, but this has an 144 hertz for competitive gamers and an absolutely gorgeous display on it. So I just finished the play test and ran the computer through its paces and honestly, really impressed. I was running Overwatch at Ultra Graphics and it was easily maintaining 300 FPS, extremely low input lag. The monitor looked fantastic. Audio quality, again, great. They've managed to fit in a NVIDIA 20X RTX Super Graphics chip into this computer and they have quite a cooling system on it as well. Not only did it perform at 300 FPS, ultra graphics, but it still had room left in the tank for more performance. The Helio 700 seems to be built with streaming in mind. The RTX encoder that they actually have on the graphics card allows you to offload some of that streaming process to one part of the card where the rest of the GPU and CPU is gonna be focused on actually playing the game or whatever else you're doing on the computer. Now, if you're not so much on the streaming side and more interested in editing, rendering, uploading videos for something like YouTube, then the 10th generation Intel Core processor is making that stunningly fast. I'm super excited for you to be able to get your hands on this laptop. And I know that once we start traveling with Team Envy and Dallas Fuel in season four of the Overwatch League, this is what's gonna be in my backpack and I'm gonna be using it to get the job done. On top of the thermal fan technology that we implemented, this time we actually use PowerGen. That's right, we, taught, we introduced the PowerGen not too long ago, but we've now implemented it into the Helio 700 itself, and the results are really quite amazing and Let's impressive. look at some of the benchmark that we have done. Sure, we have that right here. The first to notice is, uh, before we jump into the chart, before, I wanted to mention that because we used the power gem, we were actually able to reduce the size of the chassis itself for the Helio 700. Beta form factor. That's right. We were able to reduce that by just about 10 millimeters, but even compared to the latest technology, which is liquid metal grease, we were able to maintain significant advantage in Cinebench performance while keeping at a lower temperature. So we'll be able to provide better performance, cooler temperature, and PowerGen become the latest technology. Exactly, Jason. And that's really important because as games become more advanced uh, and as gamers uh, utilize more programs and streaming and other things, core performance is going to become more and more a necessity, making the Helio 700 really one of the most landmark machines of its time. And it's not just a laptop that we're going to talk about today. We also have desktop that we are willing to share with you, Orion 9000. Let's look at the video.
The desktop is actually the flagship, the monster machine for gamers. That's right. With our Orion 9000 series, we wanted to kind of remake and reforge uh, with a few different changes. And the first of those, Jason, is the tempered glass side panel right here. No, no more muzzles. Totally transparent. It's, uh, it's very important for gamers to have a look at exactly what's going on, especially when you've got all the colors and the RGB and the ARGB going off. And this isn't just a normal side panel. It is EMI shielded as well. That's very important. Do we want to emphasize it a little bit more on that? Of course. Uh, for many people out there who are, say you're a streamer, your microphone will pick up interference and gray or white noise. Like uh, zzz, exactly. Zzz, zzz. If you have a lot of electricity that's not shielded, or if you have a lot of electricity that's going from the system to the outside because your case isn't shielded, you will pick up that white noise. Well, that guaranteed. also protects some of the chips inside the system. It does. It helps to keep a lot of, uh, a lot of EMI from going either inside or outside from other things uh, interacting with the components. But that is really just the first of the changes. We actually darkened all the components because why not? If you're going to make everything look as good as possible, might it as well. It looks better. It looks beautiful now. And uh, now you can see all the CPUs, and you can see the GPUs, and GeForce, RTX, all very visible there. And that's not the only change. Obviously, if we're making these changes, we want to advance the cooling as well. That's and, one of our key focus on our gaming machine, thermal technology. And in order to do that, what we've done is we've created the Predator Frostblade. Similar how our laptops utilize the Aeroblade technology, with Predator Frostblade, we took it a step up. The Orion 9000 itself and actually uses three of these. Uh, and if, uh, I will explain them very quickly. Basically, what we have is a static pressure fan uh, using our bionic fan blade approach, similar to our Airblades does. And it also supports ARGB lighting, which uh, anybody who's played with ARGB or RGB... Fun. Yeah, exactly. Fun. It's just for fun, but it looks really nice as well. And the components of the fan itself are actually very high. There's not any of that cheap plastic or other components. It's all now we are talking about mechanical engineering. Exactly. You have high quality metal. You have high quality uh, rubbers that are utilized inside the fan blade itself so that it can create as much airflow as possible uh, through the intake and the exhaust of the machine. And we actually did uh, the benchmark and show some data here. Compared to the previous uh, models that we use with the Orions, we saw a 16% increase in CFM, which is uh, cubic feet per minute, and we also uh, raised the static pressure of the fan as well. A static pressure. Explain that a little bit more to people. Sure. Uh, if you're using, say, a regular airflow, like high airflow fan in your system, the minute anything either gets in front of uh, or behind that fan, your cubic feet per minute will slow down and you don't have good airflow anymore. The answer to that is static pressure fans. With these fans, they will continue to pull high amounts of airflow even though you have components or other things in front of or behind that fan. So if you're able to maintain high airflow and static pressure, you have a good fan on your hands. That would be a wonderful performance. And that's exactly what the Orion 9000 brings to the table. That sounds wonderful. But let's not forget about a new di di display that we are coming out with. This is the Predator X25. And Acer, for me, Predator has always done great with their monitors, whether it's been curved or flat. Well, Acer number one in the world for gaming monitor. And for good reason. We're always trying to push the envelope in terms of our displays to see just what we can do with them. And the X25 is no different. This is a 360 hertz eSports G-Sync gaming monitor with quite a few bells and whistles that I want to go into as well. Yes, please, go ahead. All right. The first of these is the adaptive light technology. And with this technology... Adaptive light. Yeah, adaptive light. And how this works, say you have uh, playing a game with red or green or blue on the screen, it will project that same color onto the back, maybe onto the wall or whatever is behind the display, so that you're able to see, be kind of immersed in your environment. More immersive feeling. But beyond that, it actually is shown to reduce the amount of eye strain as well. Oh, I actually helpful to your eyes. Exactly. And another feature of the adaptive light technology is that, uh, say if you uh, download RGB light sense, you can actually make use of our music mode. Uh, and if That's you're playing fun. music... Another fun. Yeah, it's fun to have. So if you're playing music, the lights will actually go along uh, with whatever you're listening to as well. That sounds great. Uh, but the last thing that really helps with this is uh, three additional features. They are called light sense, proxy sense, and color sense. 
And how these work is basically based on the environmental lighting in the room. Uh, they will adjust the contrast and the brightness. So you will uh, be able to uh, uh, detect the environment to adjust the lighting degree. Yes, it will detect the amount of lighting in the room and it will adjust them based on uh, fitting exactly what it thinks is ideal for you. And those are adjustable as well. So if you prefer slightly brighter, you can change that uh, default setting. So for people to play games for a long time, it's actually a very good device that people will be able to have ultimate. Extremely fast and yes, quite soft on the eyes as well. Wonderful experience. And it's getting late. It is, Jason. Why don't we get a drink? That sounds very good to me. And I think we have something perfect for that as well. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, allow us to introduce you a new energy drink. This is the Predator, Predator Shot. That's right. The Predator Shot is full of vitamins and minerals. It also has uh, vitamin B inside and lutein, which is actually quite good for the eyes. You know, it's good time for us just to cheer it up. Sounds good to me. Cheers. Cheers, Jason. Ah, how do good. you like it? I love it. Well, after drinking, after have the drink, we'll be talking about Comfort. Comfort's extremely important. Obviously, every gamer uses a chair, no matter, and what they probably don't have is a massage chair. Wait, everybody has a gaming chair, but this one is actually very different. It's quite unique. It is a, like we said, it's a Predator gaming chair with Awesome. And it's, yes, it's obviously a gaming chair, but what makes it different is that it actually has two Bluetooth speakers in the head area. So it's a music chair as well. Exactly. Like you can listen to music, you can utilize your, the speakers inside so it. So you, you will be able to do massage like this one. One touch, you will start to roll. Yeah, you can see it moving right there. And it can massage from the neck all the way down to the waist. And if you do want to recline, can re recline up to 145 degrees. So it's actually a gaming chair. You can also use it in your office and when you need to relax. You can do all those things, and it actually works extremely well with another one of our machines, the Thronos Air. So you will be able to squeeze it, move it inside the Thronos. That's right. By the Thronos Air being extremely moddable means that you can put any chair inside, so why not add the Predator Gaming Chair with Awesome for perfect relaxation and just enjoyment? Sounds wonderful. Hey, Clark, it's coming to the end of our show today. And as we promised, that uh, we're going to answer some of the questions that uh, during our session. Uh, what are some of the questions that we have here? That's right. We did ask, uh, people voted on which questions they like most. And one of the first questions we have is, uh, will you keep making products to keep people safe after COVID-19? Absolutely. Our commitment to make antimicrobial to be embedded in our system, and we already seen some of the touch panel. It's already applied that technology, and we will do more and more. And on top of that, what we will do is we'll come out a whole series of pandemic prevention gadgets, starting from heat finders to prevent people got mingled together, you know, healthy people and people have fevers to other devices. So we do have a plan to make sure that people are well protected and stay safe. What, and, what's the next? Well, actually, as we were going back and forth, some of the questions that uh, were actually from the live chat, the crew told us, uh, is there a possibility of combining Enduro with gaming? Wait a minute, say it again. Enduro with gaming, something, you know. Enduro with gaming. So it's a rocket dice gaming machine. Exactly. That's what it sounds like. That's what we were able to get. I'm sorry I don't have anything like that today, but we'll surely think about that in case you're curious. Watch us next time. Mm -hmm. For that, I would like to conclude our event today. Thank you for your time, your attention. Please make sure stay connected and stay safe. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.